This is an algebra question that we have here. And the tricky part on this is the notation. So they give us information about a four, five, and six. And they wanna know about a one, two, and three. And they also give us the relationship of a n to three previous terms. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the a n here. Uh, don't look at these answers right here. Okay, so this tells us a n is related to the three previous terms. The biggest term we need to get is a three, and it's going to be related to uh, the three previous. However, we don't know the three previous. So what we're going to do instead is we're actually going to go to the other end and we're going to look at the furthest, the biggest term we have, a six. And I'm going to write this using the formula above. So n is six. So n minus one is five. So this is a five minus six, a n minus two is four, minus three, a n minus three, six minus three is three. Good news is we have three of the four terms. So i just get that back on the screen. So we got a six, four, 89 equals negative four times a five is negative 192 minus six a four is 42 minus three a three. All right, we set the find a three. So we need to do some multiplication. Uh, so this is really just an algebra problem here. So I'm gonna leave this to you. Uh, clearly the answer is nine because it's written right here, uh, but you just go through the uh, algebra here to get a three. So that'll take care of a3. How do we get a2? We're gonna repeat the same thing that we did here, except we're gonna drop back one. So this will be a5. So n is five here. And I'm copying, or I'm really copying the top line down here, or you can copy this line and just subtract one off all the subscripts. Uh, so if you follow this, you should already have, uh, you have a5 and a4, you should have just got an a3, and this will let you get a2, and you repeat the process again and get a1.